There are days when I hate social media. There are days when I really, really hate social media. Imagine a world where you're allotted a maximum 280 characters to have civil discourse over the most complex issues of our time. A world in which being short on character is not only seen as an asset, it's a condition of entry. Closer here. Imagine a world where actions are motivated by internet points, and the ruder and the sassier the comment, the more of those sweet, sweet internet points you get. Whew. A world in which no one is actually hearing each other, they're just listening for their next talking point zinger so they can get more of those sweet, sweet internet points. What do you see? But it's not just negativity that earns you these sweet internet points, positivity does as well. So much so that people will actually feign the most important human emotions on the internet in order to grab those sweet, sweet internet points. Have a good day at work. <laughs> and duck. But this is not unique to Twitter. It's not unique to Facebook. In fact, it's not even unique to social media to begin with. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. Be yourself. Especially, do not feign affection. Dizzy Dorata, Max Ehrman, 1927. The reality is that there's nothing new about feigning affection, nor is there anything new about being a troll. Trolling goes back to the ancient Greeks with a philosopher named Diogenes, 2400 years ago, who trolled Alexander the Great. While sunbathing one morning, Alexander the Great, who was impressed to meet him, said, Is there anything I can do for you? Diogenes trollingly replied, Yes, step out of my sunlight. He was famous for urinating on people who insulted him, he took a poop in a theater, and he famously said that he would rather be mad than feel pleasure. A troll by definition. Social media, Twitter, Facebook, it's not revealing anything new about humanity. Mark Twain said that history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. The reality is only that social media, Twitter, Facebook, makes it so much more easily accessible for everyone to get that instant gratification from an insult, a quip, a snide remark. So much so that it almost becomes reflexive. People no longer have to look in the eyes of the person they're insulting. They can just post it anonymously like some keyboard cowboy. Never having to deal with the consequences. Never having to see the look in the face of the person that they say it about. <sighs> I hate social media some days. But the reality is I love it. It's a tool for creation. But like every tool, it can be used to create and to destroy. Humans create a magnifying glass. Kids use it to burn up little insects with the power of the sun. Peace out.